A lot of times we talk about lake effect snow up in the snow belt. That's not the case tonight. An Arctic cold front blasted through here and now the wind flowing and it's pushing lake effect snow as far south as southern Columbiana County. And by the way, down in southern Columbiana County, that lake effect coming from Lake Michigan, not Lake Erie tonight. And these bands, if you get stuck underneath one of them, you're going to get a quick inch or two. You may drive a half a mile down the road and no snow falling, just a little blowing snow. That'll be the case right into a tomorrow morning. Now temperatures are starting to turn much colder already tonight. We're at 16 here at the station at the airport sitting at 16 2. Uh, temperatures will tumble on down into the single digits. Let's get right to your neighborhood to see what the temperatures like in your backyard currently this evening and uh, temperatures as I mentioned already falling into the middle teens. Uh, Mercer at 15 15 at Guilford Lake 17 in Calcutta and 18 in Wellsdale. Wind chills are dropping into single digits, but they will drop on down below zero uh, right into first thing tomorrow morning. Here's Doppler radar. Now what I've been watching through the evening that Arctic cold front plowed through dumping heavy snow, but now more of a banding situation taking shape. This is that lake effect band that connects back to Lake Michigan. It stretches from around Kensington, East Rochester, down through Salineville on down to Wellsville and Southern Columbiana County. Another band stretching across Mahoning County from Austin Town to Canfield to Boardman on down to New Middletown and Springfield. Here's a look at the lake club here. You see just light snow there, but they're uh, pretty Pretty much in between some of these cells uh, with this heavier snow across Mahoning County, Trumbull County, the next lake effect band pushing through there too. a quick look at downtown Warren where a little snow shower just slipped on through there and there you can see the streets. You can see some of the streets, so that's good news there as uh, treated roads. Uh, not too bad tonight, but untreated surfaces uh, definitely snow covered and watch for that blowing and drifting snow tonight. So cold air pours in lake effect snow continues tonight right into uh, tomorrow morning. If you're under one of these snow bands, an inch or two. Outside the snow bands, you're not going to see much snow. Future Tracker keeping that threat around through morning. The heaviest snow I'm expecting in Mercer County, especially central and northeastern Mercer County. Then I'll be watching for another band tomorrow stretching through, yes, uh, Columbiana County. Not just the lake effect country this time as we go into tomorrow. Uh, on and off snow showers in between a little bit of sunshine around. So here's the way it plays out. Total snowfall tonight, one to three inches up to four or more. If you're stuck underneath one of those snow bands tomorrow morning, temperatures cold. We don't climb much tomorrow. Nine degrees scattered snow another inch or two. If you're under a snow band up to three or more, especially across Mercer County and then some parts of Western Mahoning County and Columbiana County watching that band as we go into tomorrow afternoon. Temperatures are going to be frigid though. That wind chill advisory stays in place through Sunday morning tomorrow evening. Snow showers will finally start to wrap up. We dropped to four below zero tomorrow night. 16 on Sunday, but better weather. Monday, a high of 32. Tuesday, 34. Watching for the storm moving to the east. It looks like it'll take the heaviest snow east. Temperatures warm up. A quick cool down Thursday. And then a nice warm up a week from today. Highs in the low 40s.